from Brunette Wig Place, and today I am bringing you a review for Wig Studio One. So just a reminder before I get started, Wig Studio One has a Facebook group called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. We would love for you to come over and join. I am a longtime member of the group, and it is a great place for wig chat and hair loss support, and it's just a lot of fun. So please come over to Facebook and join the group. So today I am wearing Henry Margu's Ella in the color 4H. And this is such a cute little style. I am just loving her movement. And this 4H is a new brunette for me. I've tried the 5H, but I've never gone as dark as the 4H. So I'm really excited to get to try the 4H as well. But the ends and the movement on this piece are just adorable. And she is an affordable basic cap wig, which I just love. And she doesn't really have a lot of permatease. She's low density. I just think she's super cute. So I'm really excited to get to share her with you today. So let me do a spin and show you Ella all the way around and then I'll get into all of her specs. So here's the front. She has a really cute bang that just sweeps across the forehead and then cute little layers and little flippies. She's super cute. Okay, here's my right side. The back. left side and then back to the front so she is just adorable so as far as her measurements are concerned this bang here in the front is a four inch bang uh she has an ear tab measurement of 5.5 .5 inches so that is this layer coming off of the ear tab here 5.5 .5 inches the back of the wig is four inches to 5.5 .5 inches the nape back here is a three inch nape. And then the top goes from four inches to seven inches with those layers, giving it an overall measurement of 9.5 inches. So really, really cute, lots of layers. Like I said, there's a lot of movement, which I really, really like. These fibers are just feathery and light and they just kind of flip and flop and it just looks so natural and it's super fun little cut. Really, really cute, but really feminine and just super sweet. So as far as her cap construction, like I said, she's a basic cap. So no, you know, lace front, but there's not one needed. It has a bang, so you don't really need to have a lace front there. And that bang can be, if you wanted to shorten it and really have good, you know, forehead coverage, you could do that. I just have it side swept. I like a side swept bang. And then she's got really, really nice ear tabs and she's super cute ear tucked. I really love her like this. She looks so cute, but great ear tabs. I've got great coverage. There's a good size piece of metal in there. So I'm very pleased with the coverage of the ear tabs and she just looks real cute ear tucked. She's really cute. And this color, like I said, the color on this one is 4H. And I will take it outside and we'll be able to see, you know, get a better idea of the color out there. But 4H is described as a medium dark brown with medium brown highlights. And you can kind of see the highlights in this indoor light. But when we, like I said, when we take it outside, you're really going to be able to see those highlights in the color. So really, really cute. I, I love the Henry Margu shades i they are most of them do have a highlight and that's what that h in the color stands for but the highlights are subtle and very very nicely done very very pretty shades so really really cute so we pop her off we'll look at the inside of the cap so this cap is a basic cap it's also described as what is called capless and the reason for that is because it's actually what's considered to be an open cap. So open cap just means that this top portion is wefted. An open cap allows for a lot of breathability in the cap, making it a very comfortable, very soft, breathable cap. So as you can see, rather than having closed lace with a bunch of, you know, a lot of permatease on top like some wigs do, you have these, these uh, open wefts going across the top up here on the top of your head. And then she's got a really soft velvety edge there. Very comfortable. She has open wefted ear tabs as well. And those open wefted ear tabs are also, you know, again, they are very um, comfortable, breathable. She'd be a great warm weather wig. So open wefting 
all through there. She does have a velvet strip here at the nape, but it's not extended. She only has that three and a half inch nape, so it's not really needed. And then she has Velcro adjusters, which are great. Black, you know, the cap, inside of the cap is black on this dark color, which is common. So really, really cute. And she's so easy to just pop on, give her a little bit of, you know, arrangement for those bangs, get her in the right spot. And she is easy to just pop on and go. Really, really cute. Get those bangs out of the way. Okay, see? She's cute. I just love her movement. She's just adorable. Okay, let's take her outside and we will look at 4-H out in the natural light. Okay, so here is this 4-H on Ella by Henry Margu. Really pretty color. So you can see those highlights. Here by the pool where we're in full natural light. We're kind of mostly cloudy, a little bit of sun peeking through today. You can really see those highlights. So cute. There's a breeze so you can kind of see how she moves in the wind. Isn't she cute? Oh my goodness, she's just adorable. Really cute, okay. Okay, we are back inside now with this color 4H on this cute little Ella wig by Henry Margu. So you could really see the highlights and everything out there in the natural light, which is why I love to take them outside so that you can really, really see the color well. So it, uh, the fibers are just a little bit shiny and you could see that out in the natural light I noticed. So she might need a little bit of spritz of dry shampoo and then she should be good to go. So, or maybe you just, you know, the sheen doesn't bother you. So just letting you know that I am seeing that, you know, in the color itself. So she's super cute. I love tucking her behind the ear. And while I've got her tucked behind the ear, I will show you how easy she is with glasses. She is just super easy with glasses. Those ear tabs are thin, they are not in the way. I think glasses could even, yeah, easily go up on top of the head. So very friendly with the glasses, which is always important to me. She's super cute with a headband. I was wearing her like this yesterday. I was just kind of getting a feel for her and playing around with her, and I thought she looked really cute with a headband. And those bangs, you know, if they're kind of in your eyes, you can always give a little trim to those longer ones, but I like a side swept bang, so I just keep kind of sweeping them out of my way. Other styles, you know, she's not one that you're gonna do a whole lot to. I think that, I don't know about this bang pulling back. You could do a little bit of a clip here in the front, but of course there's no lace front, so you can't, and those bangs are short enough, you're not gonna be able, able to pull them all the way out of the way, but it does look cute like that. You could put a couple of clips, you know, you could always put her behind the ear and put a clip on each side. That would be cute. But you know, she's not gonna be your ponytail wig or anything like that, I don't really even think well, maybe she does. I'm not sure how well it would stay. I am able to clip her back with a claw clip. And that looks that looks cute, but I have, something tells me these little layers are just gonna keep coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out. But you could clip her back like that, just for something fun, something different. So she's just really, really cute. I think just on her own or tucked behind the ears, She's just really cute and she's very easy. Like I said, super lightweight, super comfortable. So I just wanna thank Wig Studio One again for sending me this wig to review for y'all today. Um, information for purchase will be below in the info section. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.